making this video to show you guys how I make latex documents using NeoVim, how I do my assignments as a computer science major. I'm going into my senior year of undergrad, um, doing some research work for a professor this year using latex documents. So I'm going to show you how I do it efficiently using NeoVim, like a true computer science chad. Uh, let's do it. First of all, I'm using Windows as my main operating system, but I'm on WSL inside the Windows terminal, which you can see I made my own little logo for here using NeoFetch because I'm a nerd. Um, yeah, so I'm on Windows terminal. You can do some stuff with commands and settings to make it look pretty, like I have here. I made it so it loads Ubuntu default, so you don't have to put in the command Ubuntu every time you load command prompt or terminal. You can make it open a tab with this terminal, and you can also make it maximize when you open it as well, which is what I've done. As for appearance, I've just got it on dark. Um, I used acrylic in the tab row. If you don't, it makes it uh, solid on the top like this. So if you make it acrylic, it makes it see-through on the top, which I think is a little prettier. For color schemes, I'm using Everblush. You can look up Windows Terminal Color Schemes on Google, and it's the first website that comes up, and there's a ton of them you can quick click through. And you just copy it to your keyboard, open this JSON file down here. Find, yeah, here they are, schemes. See, you can see like Campbell would be a color scheme in here. You would just paste the JSON information in here. So like I have a couple other ones that aren't normal either, like Dracula in there, which I use sometimes. But right now I'm on Everblush. Flatland's good. Duckbones is good too. Up to you. As for actions, I just have a couple of different things from the normal in Windows Terminal. I've got my keys down in the bottom right, so you guys can see, but I use control, shift, and then the backslash, or the bar, to do a horizontal split. And then control, shift, underscore to do a vertical split. Control, shift, X to close window. That's really it. So if you want to make your terminal look cool, you could do something like this. if I can remember the command. There you go. And then use NeoVim over here, and then you can monitor your NeoVim CPU and RAM usage while you're using it. Wow, how crazy is that? So yeah, we're not gonna do that because we're not that Chad. Uh, so NeoVim, looks kind of crazy right now, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so NeoVim, let's, let's open a latex file, shall we? Actually, let's quit out of this and see the entire latex and coats. So we have some files here. If we go into our main.txt file, I can use a plugin called Vimtex to compile this and do a live PDF preview, which is what I wanted because I don't like using Overleaf. I wanted to use NeoVim. So we do space LL. And we get this. The default PDF viewer in WSL 
is not a live PDF viewer. So you need to download, I downloaded Ocular and it works great. So I do something like this. I can use the command stroke, command F to get rid of my file tree on the right, on the left, excuse me. And let's say I wanted to change the assignment. Do something like delete the next three words. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to say this is homework eight, chapter. Look in the top left. Wow. It auto wrote it in. Now, isn't that crazy? So, yeah, we can. Um, we can. We can use NeoVim commands in LaTeX. Isn't that crazy? So, how did I do this? I used some plugins. So, let's look. I'm just going to see each of the home directory and then we're going to see the config dot and then we're just going to end them in. I've got this all on GitHub. So if you want it, check it out on GitHub. There's a couple of screenshots up there. It's got a full list. Here's a full list of all the plugins I'm using for this setup. Um, but I'm just gonna highlight a couple here. Command of Conquer, crazy good plugin. If you want auto completion, use COC. It's simple. You don't have to know how to set up a language server. You just have to know how to install a plugin and then you use that plugin to install all of the language servers. And you let it do its thing and it works. So yeah, I use COC, I use the COC Clang D extension for C, C++, autocomplete, the Rust analyzer for Rust autocomplete, and the pairs for doing parentheses, brackets, quotation marks, it'll make pairs. So like, say I do this, it'll make a pair, like that. Um, I forget what the LaTeX server is called, so let me look. Okay, so COC Vimtex includes Vimtex support for COC, which is nice. But TextLab is the actual language server for COC that gives you Vimtex autocomplete. So if you wanted to do something like use a, so if you wanted, say you start typing section inside a LaTeX file, it's going to do that for you. So, geez. So. I just have all of my plugins inside a plugins folder. And let's look at some of the key maps. I went over some of these, so like uh, space M will go over to my tree folder. Space F will hide it. Space F will bring it back. Enter will go back over to the file. Space SH will split horizontally, and then I can use control and the nvim commands to go between the panels. So control K goes up, control J goes down. I can use quit to just get out of a panel. Space SV will split vertically so that I can have two windows up. This is especially helpful for when I'm doing assignments that require me to code in C++ and then have a latex file open in another window. So that's super useful for key maps. And all of this is mostly powered by Vimtex. I use Tokyo Night as my theme right now. 
I also use um, Night Fox sometimes. Telescope is a great fuzzy finder. Tree Sitter does the text highlighting, which is awesome. Noise makes everything look nice, so when I press colon, it brings up this instead of just doing it in the bottom. In the bottom here, I'm kind of blocking it with my camera. Let me move that out of the way for a second here. In the bottom here, this line is Lua line. That's that plugin. Move myself back there. Um, I'm using vim illuminate dot illuminate the same word within a file anytime I'm on it. I use indent blank line for You guys probably saw it. It's kind of, my files are kind of rainbow-like because of the indent blank line. So like if I go into a C++ file, for example, you can see I've got red, yellow, blue, for the highlighting for each tab level, which is what indent blank line does, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so that's my latex setup. If you guys have any questions or comments on it, um, let me know. I don't have too many actual latex binds right now. I'm still learning latex and I'm still getting into it a bit more so still learning all of the binds and everything I have a couple of binds within latex where I can do something like press double bracket to go to the next section jump between sections and questions which I have all labeled you can also like I said press command ll or space ll for compile there's a couple other keybinds that come with Vimtex as well, but these are the only main ones I use right now. Really, like I was saying, all I'm looking for is a live previewer, Vim commands, and autocomplete with some nice text highlighting that doesn't look like overly flight mode. Like, it's, it's just atrocious to look at. This is so much prettier, it's so much better, and it's so much nicer to use. It's lightweight. And it's local on your own system. You don't have to go online to use Overleaf and load it off the cloud or whatever. So much better in my opinion, much better for computer science majors. You can flex on your fellow classmates. You can flex on your professor. Yeah, you can just be an ultimate Chad. Use NeoVim for LaTeX. There you go.